Yo, what is going on? It is me, guys, and today we are doing this. Well, it's not really we are doing it, but it's more... Just ignore this. Right, that I shall delete. Anyway, this is my 1.2.5 mod thing. It's, yeah, 1.3 has came out, but some of the mods, industrial craft, build craft, etc. just haven't been updated yet. I don't think they have anyway. If they have, I don't care. So, yeah. Anyway, so, today I'm just going to be showing you a simple and easy world. Um, simple and easy reactor design you can do for a nuclear reactor on your if you're using these mods and um as you can see yeah peaceful there is no wait um there is oh there is two um, ways you can do this one of them and um, one of them I'm not going to show you cuz I it's more, it won't work in super flat, but this one is simple, so I'm just going to get myself some reinforced concrete. Yep, stone. Um, get myself some... Oh shit. Um, get myself a nuclear reactor, obviously. Um, chamber... Um a collector and I'm gonna use the Mark three because really, that produces ice but I think you may be able to use the Mark two uh, Mark one um, collector Mark one um, energy condenser a antimatter relay no, I just think relay um, you may be able to use a Mark 1 version of that as well. I'm not sure, I haven't tested this. Um, some pneuma pneumatic tubing, a filter, and a timer. So, what you want to start off with is if you want your world to be fully protected, you want to start by doing a 7x7 seven seven square out of this reinforced concrete and it eventually this square will be 7x7x7 seven by seven by seven, which is an amount I think it's somewhere in the region of 280 blocks of reinforced concrete which is quite a lot Wait, three, six, right, seven so, um, yeah this is just a quick video I might just um, cut this bit out after I finish this wall, and so you don't have to see me just building a cube, which is not very uncommon in Minecraft because the worlds are made out of cubes. Anyway, so yeah, I'll be back in a sec, guys. So yeah, I finished this cube now, and as you can see, seven, seven by seven by seven. And it will ha it's got a roof and inside it is completely hollow. And what you want to do is find the center which will be there. And you want to go straight down and also knock the bottom one out and then knock two blocks underneath it. And then dig your way out. And this is where your Y is going to be fed. But first you want to place a nuclear reactor, so that's a chamber. No, it's not. That's the reactor. So just do two blocks, then the reactor, and then there's one block for a chamber, and then there's one block for the water. So like I could put a chamber there, even though that's not a chamber. Put a chamber there, and it's got water on the side, and this will recognize the water. S and then what you want to do is put five chambers on this reactor. It will be four on the sides and one on the top, not one on the bottom. Then you want to... I don't even know why you don't need one on the bottom. But anyway, 
um, put a pneumatic, uh, put pneumatic tubing there, and then put a filter here. In fact, no, put a filter here. Put the energy condenser there. Put um, relay there. Um, collector, collector, collector. Um, then you want some glowstone so it works all days, every day, without having to wait for the sunlight. One thing I've always won uh, like wondered about this, about um, the collectors, do you need it on all sides or is it just the top? Because it's confusing for me. Anyway, so what you need now is to, you want to get some ice, and the way you're going to do this is you can compress a snowball and that will turn into an I turn into ice. So you can do it legitly. Without, um, you can do it without getting silk touch and stuff. And this will slowly build up and to be honest you only need a small amount. Anyway, right, so you want to put um, nine... I oh shit. You want to put nine ice in this filter so it will take 9 out of this ener energy condenser every time there's a tick and then yeah and then you want to get your timer again put it there hopefully that should be working no it's not and I know where I went wrong be back in a sec guys yeah guys sorry about that I realized that the filter had to be one more up, so the timer could actually tick on the filter, and it would actually take the ice out of here. So I'll put it back in, and as you can see, it's actually gone up quite quickly for some reason. Um, just because it's not timer, sorry, um, lever. Just for this, I'm going to be putting a lever. Oh, shit. Putting the lever there, putting the time down to 400, and then getting some red alloy wire. Um, red alloy wire, putting it there, which will then every point four of a point four of a tick, it will make this go take nine ice out of here out of there, go down the pneumatic tube and put it into the selected slots in the nuclear reactor, which is not these. Fuck. Anyway, um, yeah, so delete all that ice and then get some more ice. Wait, let me get a few stacks of ice here. Um, you'll need, I think it's six stacks of ice? Yes, you'll need six stacks of ice to start off with and you want to put them here in that formation and then what you want to do is fill no wait wait before you even do that you need to connect your wire through the bottom and this is going to be the four times insulated high voltage wire thing and what you're going to do is put that through the hole you made and before here get yourself a high voltage transformer and do that and put your thing there your cable and put that there and then get you can use glass fiber cable now or you can use the same cable that cable if you want but there's no point get glass fiber cable then get an, yourself an MFSU um, put it there. Oh, wait there. And as you can see, it's not filling up with power at the moment because we haven't actually started the reactor yet. So what you want to do now is get some buckets of water. I'll just get the water source block from any high, <coughs> from any high, and just fill it up from the top. So like it's got oh crap. So it's got water covering near enough all the blocks in the reactor. Right, just keep doing this. And 
so it seems reasonable. And fuck. Yeah, there we are. Yeah, that'll do. Then you want to put your uranium in. So load, load, and now you can turn that on. And as you can see, it's loading the ice in, and this is using your ice to keep the reactor safe, to cool it down. And if you come over to your MFSU over here, you can see it's quickly filling up with power. And the um, things, the heating and cooling pattern, etc. It's a total time of 2 hours 46 minutes and 40 seconds, and that's for a full cycle. And it's got infinite cycles. It's got no cooldown time, obviously, and it's got its overall output is 364 million EU at a rate of uh, 1,820 EU per tick, and all of that is effective. Um, this so this will run for two hours. It will fill quite a lot of MFSUs up. No doubt about that. Because as you can see, it's nearly filled a quarter of it up, and it's what, been on 30 seconds. And as you can see, the ice is filling up. This is staying stable up here. There's still loads of ice in here. Maybe if we increase how much ice, maybe 17 ice. Yeah, that's staying stable, and hopefully this should be staying as well. Yep. So yeah, this is a simple reactor. Um, it will not blow up, hopefully, because <laughs> I don't think it can overheat. Well, it can, but it's very unlikely since it's getting cooled by the um, ice, and it won't stop getting cooled by the ice since this is here. And you can leave this on to run for two hours, and then all you got to do is re uh, replenish the uranium, and you're good to go. It's cheaper than using reactor and uh, not reactors, uh, heat dispersers, and integrated plate things and coolant cells. As you can see, halfway done for a million, five hundred thousand, quite a lot. It can power a mass fabricator, and. If you did mess up and f like forget to, you know, do that, if you forgot to turn the timer on, let's just see how deadly this reactor can be. Just for safety purposes, I'm going to because the explosions will um, travel with the cable. I'm going to um, fill this up with reinforced concrete. I think you may be able to get reinforced steel, I'm not sure. If you can, that, I think that may be a lot more effective. Reinforced... No. Steel. Oh, I spelled steel wrong. Nope, you can't get reinforced here. Ignore what I just said. Anyway. Right, so... Protecting that. This concrete is... A lot more... It's better for... Oh shit. That's gonna blow. And... It's quite good at resisting explosions. As you can see. Normally a nuclear reactor would look at this explosion compared to react reactor chamber. Nuclear reactor. Right, so I'm just gonna go put it there, put a chamber there. I'll do it the same setup as that, but without the ice going in, just one set of ice. And without any, um, oh sh just need to, uh, oh shit. Y 
anyway, look at the explosion difference. <laughs> look how large that was compared to the small thing that that done. And as you can see, even, even some of the reinforced concrete stayed. That's just how effective it is. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this, guys. Please like, rate, comment, subscribe, and peace out, bitches.